What's up gamers? Welcome in and have I got a game to talk about today, Hades. It's a game that came out in 2020 by Supergiant Games and man, did they ever deliver. It's a roguelike where you're thrown into the shoes of Zagreus, the son of Hades going through the journey of escaping the underworld. And is it just me or did 2020 have a lot of games where you had to conquer demons? I mean you had Hades, you had Doom Eternal, and in another sense of conquering, you also had Helltaker. I mean, I guess you could say 2020 was a hell of a year. Yeah. Anyway, Hades is a game that is amazing to play, whether you're a fan of roguelikes, a fan of RPGs, or if just a fan of Greek mythology in general. Or in my case, all of the above. This game is definitely for you. So let's dive in and see why you should play Hades. And remember to like and subscribe. It notifies you when I have a new video out and it really helps me out growing and so I'm able to do more videos. And also comment down below what game you'd like to see next. I'm always looking forward to new games to play and just to talk about. All right, let's get right into this. Now I'm not gonna get huge into the details of the story because you honestly need to play it. The main gist of the story is Zagreus wants to leave the underworld and that's the main point of what you want to know because the way that it, the story is portrayed in this is amazing and something I haven't seen before. It may have been done but I've personally never seen it. It's a evolving story where every time that you die or you fight an enemy or you talk to a character it builds upon the world to a point where you fight a boss that beats you and you find them again they're taunting you because they beat you already. Like, are you sure you want to do this again? Or when you beat them and you die later on and have to fight them again, they remember that you beat them. And the dialogue between the characters is amazing. Like, in a lot of games, death is kind of just like a stopping point or a pause point of the story. And you have to get past it to progress the story. But death in this game is a integral part to where... You get to a certain point throughout the labyrinth of the underworld and you die and you're greeted all the way back at the beginning of the game in an, a literally a greeting center where lo and behold there's Hades saying welcome back are you going to do it again and yeah that's crazy to see that just being able to have a living story it really reminds me of the nemesis system in the shadow of Mordor where you would fight an enemy and they would remember you but this one feels more organic like these characters are living like a very personal scale to where you're invested with these characters because you're learning as they're learning and it's a, a form of storytelling i've never seen before and it's enticing to say the least i highly recommend this game just because of that the fighting in this game is amazing but the story just the feeling of a personal scale of this story all the personal stakes that Zagreus is going through it really just feels like you are Zagreus you want to see it and you remember what happened to you it's an amazing thing to see so with this game being a roguelike you have to know that this game is a lot of fun and there's different ways to do it each time because each time that you die the world gets reset and you have to go through a new branching corridors filled with different enemies different types and you'll never know what you're gonna see and that's what's really good is before you jump in you get to pick what weapon you want to take with you you can take a sword which is a lot of close range you can take a shield that makes you feel like Captain America being able to throw it all around a spear that you can throw and bring back to you out of whim almost like the axe in God of War or even a uh, bow to make you feel like Robin Hood or even some gauntlets and it's just fun to see because every game is different every run is different and you can feel it out if you want to try and be more run and gun or if you want to be stead back and shoot from a distance it's incredible to play around and evolve as you go and as well with this being a Greek mythology game of course all the gods are in play you've got Zeus Poseidon Aphrodite and all Ares, which is one of my favorites to be able to uh, get, are constantly talking with you and giving you their abilities and powers to either give you some poison, to give you lightning abilities, to give you knockback. It, it's really interesting to see what you get randomly and how you can evolve your character to play 
this time around because every run is different and every run makes you figure out new ways to go through the game and it's fun because it's never going to be the same that each run is unique and that's what makes this game enticing it's i mean most roguelikes are like this like dead cells is a dead ringer where you die start over and have to go through it all again but it's incredible in hades because again the story is bringing you in but the gameplay is wanting you to keep going and going and push farther and farther just to, to escape the bosses are a lot of fun because they remember who you are but they don't fight the same way depending on the weapons because yes they're come at you charging sometimes if you have the spear you're able to push them away and keep them at a distance but and they have to adapt and do more farther attacks or in some of the attacks that are close range they're just nuking you at times and it's incredible just to play the game like that and just the draw of greek mythology is awesome it's everything's on display it definitely knows the source material but uses it in a way that makes the game still fun yes you're a demigod who's immortal well how do you die well you just go back to the beginning you're able to go through hades over and over and over again and they use that to the advantage they use the gods wanting to fight against you and draw their glory while challenging each other you can see that they like you but you can tell that they still wanted you on their side their personalities are still on display from all the stories of greek mythology they still feel like the ones that you know and I love that. It makes you feel like this game was a love letter to Greek mythology, but at the same point, wanting to be a fun game. And that's what it is, you know, a really, really fun game. I can't recommend this enough. I And if you are able to, go ahead and get it. It's on both the Switch and on PC and Steam. You can play it on the Mac if you like, and it's worth every penny. And I highly recommend it. But Again, thank you guys for stopping by. You have a wonderful day. And remember, keep on gaming.